Pensacola police officer is on administrative leave tonight following a fatal accident. Police say the officer ran over someone riding a bicycle. It's a story that's generating a lot of talk in the neighborhood where it happened. Renee Allen went to a neighborhood club last night looking for a little fun. Instead, she says she saw a teenager killed right across the street. The officer was turning and the little boy was turning, coming across the grass of the parking lot. At that time, the officer stick a laser out and stunt the little boy, which the bicycle hit him and the bicycle went over on the side. When they went over on the side, the little boy tried to get up. At that time, the officer backed the car up and took and hit the little boy. Ashley Cray is the club owner. He says several of his patrons tell the same story. They all saw a police car chasing a teen on a bicycle just before 2 a.m. They say the teen fell from the bike after he was hit with a taser. The officer fired taser at the bicyclist who ended up falling off his bike. He looked like he was twitching or recovering from the taser. The Florida Highway Patrol and the Department of Law Enforcement are investigating the incident. In a written statement, Pensacola Police Chief John Mathis says this is a tragic situation for everyone involved. Pensacola Police say the officer was on routine patrol near T and Cervantes when he saw a suspicious male. The report says when the officer tried to stop the man, he fled on his bicycle. The officer followed in his car and tried unsuccessfully to tase the man. Police say the biker turned into a parking lot on R Street and then fell in front of the officer's patrol car. The orange markings on both sides of this median show where the patrol car ended up. Witnesses say the bicyclist was up under that car for several hours. Alvin McCorvey is president of the local NAACP chapter. He says the organization is also looking into what happened. And I wanted to see whether there any physical evidence that we could, uh, you know, discover here. So when we get the report from the investigation on what happened, that uh, we would know pretty much whether or not it is in line with what we found here today. Pensacola police have identified the officer involved in the incident. He's 35-year-old Gerald Ard. Ard has been with the police department for years. The name of the person killed has not been released.